So today I've come back to Crick's Honda in Marutidor on the Sunshine Coast so that I can take the Honda HRV for a test drive and see how it is for baby drive. <laughs> So the Honda HRV actually isn't a bad car to drive. The steering wheel feels quite cheap and budget to hold, and so does the interior. But actually, its drive is probably one of the HRV's best points. Storage inside the HRV is pretty poor. There's actually nowhere at all to put a large refillable water bottle. In the central console here, there's two cup holders and that will hold a reusable or disposable coffee cup. The central console box is really small. Um, so I don't even know what you'd put in there, it's, it's tiny. In front of the gear lever, there's a tiny well here and below it is this large space where the, there's a 12 volt socket and I found that the best place for my phone and also my sunglasses because there's no sunglasses car holder in the ceiling. The glove box actually isn't a bad size. It would hold a wallet and an iPad. The door bins are really small though, and I could get the coffee cup in there or a 600ml or a baby bottle, but no large refillable water bottle. Storage in the back of the HRV is even worse. The door pockets are tiny. They'll only hold a 600ml or a baby bottle. There are mat pockets on the back of both of the seats. They will hold an iPad, which is good. But there's no cup holders at all. In the back of the central console box, there's some kind of little well that a 600 mil would go in, but that's it. There's two Isofix in the back of the HRV, one in either of the outer seats. They're not within plastic guides. They are just within a little flap of the seat fabric. They're not too bad to connect to. There's three top tethers. They're across the seat backs and really easily accessible through the boot. I only managed to fit two child seats in the back here. It is quite small back here, so you definitely wouldn't get a third, and I found that I couldn't sit between the two seats either. In the back of the HRV here, instead of a parcel shelf or roller blind, you get this flimsy, what I would say was a window shade. It's just a bit worrying that it wouldn't be strong enough if you stopped suddenly and it would just pop everything through to the car. Let's see how much we can fit in the boot of the Honda HRV. Empty it will fit 12 shopping bags. The Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller will fit with two shopping bags. The Bright Axe Flex Double Stroller will fit with five shopping bags. The Bright Axe Flex Single Stroller will fit with five shopping bags. The Bright Axe Holiday Compact Stroller will fit with ten shopping bags. So to sum up with the HRV, it's a small car that feels really basic and quite cheap. The handles are all quite flimsy, the interior and the seats are all quite uncomfortable and just very basic and cheap feeling. The media system is out of date, it's got milky image and there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can fit two child seats easily in the back and the boot space is average for its size. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au